Hello all, welcome to our new session. Rahul and Rohan were playing in their garden with their pet dogs. Rahul wants to make a kennel for his dog. He wants the kennel to be big enough for his dog to play around. On hearing this, Rohan asked him, How much area have you planned? And have you measured the perimeter? What does this mean? Rahul was shocked and asked him what is perimeter and area. Rohan started explaining him what is perimeter and area. By watching this video, you will also understand what is perimeter and area. Here, in this video, I will show the perimeter and area using a graph paper which you will understand it very easily. Look at the graph paper. Each thick line is drawn with the measurement of 1 cm. More about a graph paper you will learn in your higher classes. Now coming to perimeter. It is the sum of the lengths of all the sides of a figure. Here I have drawn a square in the graph paper to explain the perimeter. Each side of the square is 3 cm. Now, what is perimeter? It is the sum of the lengths. And what is the length? It is AB plus BC plus CD plus DA. I have written that also. Now, 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. That is the length. When we add, we will get it is 12 centimeter. So, what is the perimeter? Here, it is 12 cm. Next, we are going to find the perimeter of a rectangle. Here, I have drawn a rectangle in the graph paper and named it PQRS. Now, let us find the number of... Here, I have counted all the squares. For PQ, it is 5 cm QR. 3 cm, R is 5 cm and S P 3 cm. Adding all this, we will get 16 cm. So, our perimeter is 16 cm. Now, I will show you a trick. As you know, a square has all the four sides equal. No need to add all the sides repeatedly. Just we can Multiply the 3 with 4 sides. That is 4 into S. This is also a formula of the perimeter of the square. Perimeter of the square is 4 into S. It represents 4 sides. That is 4 into 3. It is 12. You can also verify with the Previous one, both are same. Now, coming to the rectangle. Previously, we got it as 16 cm. Now, look at this graph. Both the lengths are 5 cm and both the breadths are 3 cm. So, 2 times length plus 2 times breadth will give you the same answer. Now, look at these shapes. Here, we have to count and find the lengths. 1, 2, 3, 4. It is 4 cm. And again 1, 2, 3, 4. Like this we have to count all the sides and write the lengths of all the sides. For both the figures I have written the sides. Now let us find out the perimeter. How to find? Add all the sides and we will get the perimeter. Now look at the next shape. It is 5 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 5. After adding all these lengths, we got the perimeter as 25 cm. Now, I hope you have understood what is the perimeters. Now, I will show you the area using the same images in the graph paper. 
area is the amount of surface occupied by a shape now let us count the number of squares inside this box square box 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 it is 9 that is this square a b c d has occupied 9 squares in the graph paper that is 9 square centimeter always we denote area with square centimeter or square meter now let us find the area occupied by this rectangle after counting all the squares inside the rectangle shape i got 15 small squares so it is 15 square centimeter now let us count these shapes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so the area is 12 square centimeter coming to the next shape 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 so it is 17 square centimeter i hope you would have understood what is a perimeter and what is a square with you rahul also understood what is perimeter and area and also decided how much space is needed to build a canal now look at this triangle the triangle has three sides and the three measurements are given in both the triangles and you can also find the perimeter by adding all the sides for the area of triangle you will be learning in the higher classes thank you for watching